Hello, I'm Lieutenant Commander Rickoff, Blue Angel number six, the opposing solo for the Blue Angels. And for this edition of the debrief, we're going to talk about the opposing minimum radius turn, or the OMRT. So this maneuver begins with myself and Blue Angel number five joining up behind the crowd in a line of breast formation, and we're going to approach the flight line about 450 miles per hour. As we cross over center point, we'll turn the smoke off, and you see Blue Angel number five start to drift down and aft uh, behind my aircraft here, and that is to set up our first cross. So in order to make our first cross look level, we're going to need Blue Angel five to slide down uh, and behind myself to set up that nose to tail separation so that he may be able to cross behind my aircraft. If you watched uh, Lieutenant Commander Cox's edition of the debrief, he mentioned the YUG. The YUG is a maneuver we do in order to get our aircraft to zero Gs. Our aircraft rolls better at zero Gs, so to do that we're going to do a quick back stick and then immediately level the, uh, the nose as we both roll 270 degrees away from each other uh, and then make that cross in front of the crowd. So there's the YUG and the rolls, and you see Blue Angel 5 passing behind my aircraft there. Initially, we're going to execute about a 7G pull as we bleed our airspeed down to about 380 knots, at which point we're going to capture that 380 knots, which turns into about a 6G pull as we make our way back towards show center point. As we approach the show line here, you see me looking out and finding Blue Engine number 5. We will both grab a sight of each other and call it contact, at which point I'm going to start setting up the second hit of this maneuver. So as we approach center point, 5 is going to tell me where he is, either inboard or outboard of the show line and I'm going to set the vertical distance to make our set look level to the crowd. So in order for us to cross nose to nose level to the crowd, I'm actually going to have to be a little bit lower than blue engine number five to make the geometry work. So you'll see that set up here as he passes behind us or in front of us, he's actually going to be a little bit above the horizon. So there's the cross. Now we turn to our outbound headings. We're going to level our wings. And at this point, we have a couple options. We're going to pull either 10, 20, or 40 degrees nose high into a series of rolls. Those altitudes can be based on weather and or show timing. So in this particular scene, we're a little bit behind in the show timing. So we're going to go to 20 degrees, which is going to increase our downrange travel so we can get back out to our timing pattern and set up for our next maneuver. So in that 20 degrees pull, once we get nose high, we're going to do two and a half rolls, ending up inverted prior to rolling upright. There are zero G rolls. There's one, two, ending up inverted. At this point, we roll upright or knife edge and then upright, and we'll get our grade from either our doc or our public affairs officer down there on the ground, and they're going to give us two grades. They're going to grade that initial hit, so where five was on our first hit, either center point, high, low, and then our second hit as we come back around to our other one, center point, high, low. That is the opposing minimum radius turn.